Oh, look at that. Up in Laddams, one of the top wide receivers. Probably going to come out first on the board. Probably. Night one, he won two national championships with the Georgia Bulldogs. Recently won the Warfel Trophy. Unbelievable Florida guy, Georgia thing. We'll see how you feel about that, really. Um, it's, of course, the premier award for being a, an amazing guy. It's the equivalent of the Walter Payton uh, Award on the NFL level. Please welcome to the show, Lad McConkie. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for having me. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Mammy again, and I will end this interview. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Have it's it. so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So what's it like? What's this whole thing like for you? Yeah, it's been it's been crazy, obviously. You know, something, something new I've never done before, so... Uh, trying to enjoy it, you know. Only get to do it once. So we're, we're here in Los Angeles. Yep. Are you? What do you, you know? Long way from Georgia. What are you doing here? Uh, just coming, coming be on here with you. So. Interviews. Yeah, interviews, hanging out. So you got to do uh, something else. Shopping, something. What do you? What? What, uh, what in LA do you need to see? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. I'm not here too long. You know, we've got some other stuff lined up. I got to get to. But you're busy. Yeah, I know nice. this is going to be a surprise to you, but I've never been in the NFL draft. I know, right? <laughs> so, you, so you got to tell me. You got to tell me everything you're feeling, you. what your days are like. Okay. What is what is it like day to day leading up to this draft? It seems like it's so close, but so far away. Yeah. So, I mean, ever since like the combine and my pro day, I've just been back at Georgia. Uh, they have nice facilities, nice food, so I've taken full advantage of that. Um, there's me and, you know, a couple other guys are doing the same thing right now, just training in the morning, you know, doing all our, all our rehab and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I've been playing some golf and doing interviews and, yeah, just getting ready for it. So. How's your golf game? Uh, it depends what hole you get me on. Sometimes <laughs> it's good, sometimes it's bad. So. Do you have a favorite golfer? Uh, favorite golfer? Um... Scottish Shufflers. Yeah, I'd yeah, say it's probably the, good, I'm a, I'm a, the I'm one. I'm a lefty, though. So. I'm a lefty. Let's go. go. Okay, lad. I'm learning more right, about I you. I do everything right-handed, but... But hit, that, but yeah. golf. I can't, I can't do either. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about your senior bowl, because you had a great senior bowl week. You were named the top receiver, dominated the combine drills. You were, I mean, this 4-3-9, are you happy with the 4-3-9? Oh, yeah, I was pumped. Yes. Good. Yes, Some so. people aren't. Most guys are like, no, I could run faster, but you were like, I trained for that. This is amazing. Yeah, it's a crazy number. Yeah, I wanted to hit the 4-3. I feel like not a lot of people thought I was going to hit it, so uh, for me to go out there and do that, I, I was pretty excited about it. Yeah, what what was sort of like the vibe that day? You have to go in and meet yeah. with people. You have to, um, was there a moment that you, that sort of sticks out to you? In 20 years when you look back, what are you going to remember from the combine? I remember like warming up, like walking out on the field, because like we played the, the Natty in Indianapolis too, but it was like completely different. Must be vibe. nice to play in two <laughs> yeah, of those, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Must be nice. It was awesome, but <laughs> no, like walking out there and like, you know, like, just seeing all the combine stuff, getting ready to line up and run the 40, it was kind of like a, I don't know, it just like kind of felt like, okay, this is this is pretty cool. Are you going to the draft in Detroit? You've been to no, Indy, you've no, been no. to L.A., you're not no, going. No, 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 what goes into that decision? Like, what did you bat it around a while? Uh, or? Yeah, I have a lot of family, <laughs> so just stay home, <laughs> uh, sit on my couch, you know, because I'm sure, like, my grandparents and cousins and stuff will want to be there and hang yeah. out with me. So, who's, yeah. the, who's the wild card in the family? There's always a wild card, like somebody who, like, is in the shot, and you're like, what's that person doing? Who's most likely in your group of friends and family to sort of be the, the wild card? Oh, um... I don't know. I would say like my brother or something, but no, he's he'll be he'll be good. He'll probably just be hanging out. I don't know. One of my friends probably from from back home. So like, you're gonna have a big party. Uh, not, nothing too big, okay. but like I had some best friends I grew up with since I was little, so they'll be there. I think you them. might go in the first round. I think you might go that that first that, night. That'd be pretty special. That'd be pretty nice. I mean, it'd, it'd be rare company, of course. I'm think, I was thinking yeah. about Georgia um, receivers. I mean, yeah. incredible college situation, farm system to the NFL, but mostly at other positions. It's like Heinz Ward, yeah, A.J. Yeah, Green, yeah. George Pickens, of course, but yeah. like, what would it mean to you to sort of, uh, you know, be taken in the early rounds like those yeah. guys? They're prolific. You can't really write the NFL without them. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, it'd be, it'd be really cool. I want to go, you know, as high as possible, but shoot, at the end of the day, I'm blessed being this opportunity, so whatever happens, I just need to get my foot in the door and uh, take full advantage of it from there. And if you're really honest with me, yeah. what is it about going to school at Georgia, playing yeah. in that system, yeah. that makes you feel like it's going to make the NFL a little bit easier yeah. for you? Going against all the players that I go against in practice. And, like, you see, like, year after year we have, like, 15, 12, like, guys go in the NFL draft. And I, what was it, 2021, we had, like, five or six guys from the defense side of the ball go in the first round. So, like, I go against those guys every day in practice, and uh, it just makes me so much better. So that and then, you know, the preparation. Coach Smart, Coach Smart's going to get us ready uh, one way or another. You have to have thick skin because even these pro days, <laughs> these combines, yeah. and the playing for the team you do it under the bright lights, like, you get ripped apart. It's all about numbers. Yeah. It's all about yeah. measurables. Um, 
Uh, I know you're into video games, so I was going to ask you, like, what's like your superpower? What's the best thing about your game? But if you were rating yourself in Madden, what would you feel most comfortable Ooh. giving yourself a 99 in? Uh, oh, oh, like myself? Yeah. I thought you were talking about like my Madden no. skills. No. Uh, 99. Um, let's see. Don't, uh, don't be, yeah, don't be no, humble think, here, lad. No, I, if I was going to give my 90, give a 99, uh, let's go. Let's, let's go route running. Route running no. at 99. Now, is there if there was something that you What's the one thing, in, in, as far as a Madden rating, that you're working the hardest at improving? Yeah, um, I guess, uh, you know, I guess I could get a little, get a little stronger, get my strength up, um, be able to go, the, go this next level. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I'm excited about all of that. Um, player comps are all the rage, right? Everybody, and I'm not a big fan of them. Like, yeah. you're like this guy. I think they can be a little lazy. Yeah. They put weird expectations yeah. on people. But I, but I gotta say, I like the ones that you're compared to a lot. I don't know if you've heard of these. I'm sure Puka Nakua. Okay. Yeah, Have you yeah. heard that? I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good, good company. Good. So I'll that's take, good. I'll take that one. How about the other guy you're seeing here? Yeah, that's a, uh, that's pretty crazy. What do you think too, of his so. game? Yeah, Garrett I mean, Wilson? yeah, he's one of the best to do it right now. So, um, be compared to him is, yeah, that's uh, that, like I said, that's good company on both of those. Their combine numbers are very similar to both of them. Speed, all of that. Is there a player, past or present, that you sort of are comfortable comparing yourself to, or at least somebody you model yeah. your game after? Everyone always asks me that, and like I really, I know, it's I really don't one. know. Like I know. I'm like, uh, I, I don't really try to like, you know, I don't focus on like one guy. Just take little things and from from many different people and uh, try to add it in my game. If it works for me, I'll use it and. You know, if not, then let's let's go to the next one. Is there somebody when you get to the NFL and you you know obviously you're picturing like week in week out I'm playing these games, you know there's always uh, NFL rookies or so, the, the, you, any player I talk to can always go back to a moment they're like oh my gosh that was Ray Lewis or oh my gosh that was like who's that player for you that when you actually see them you'll be like that's cool. They just asked me that uh, a little bit ago. <laughs> Who asked him that? But I, I I didn't have like. I, I couldn't like come up with one like it's, really. Well, it's not like that. I'm not gonna be shell shocked. It's just like there's not so. Not shell shocked, but, but I mean, is there somebody like who you're like, who's if if, if this was, if you if, if people still put posters on their wall, which they did when I was <laughs> when I was growing up, yeah. and as I was mammed and put in my place moments ago, um, whose poster would you have on your wall? Like who's who's the NFL player that you sort of looked up to? So when I was growing up, it was Peyton Manning. Like yeah. I, I was, that would be that would be the one I had Peyton Manning jersey, all that stuff. So he was he was the guy. Why did you uh, like him so much? Well, because I like growing up, I was a quarterback. My dad, my brother was a quarterback, so uh, I thought I was going to be, but uh, it turned out I was a little bit better at, at receiver. So I don't understand because you say you're a quarterback, so I'm a little. Con okay, I'm like, can you explain this to me? You weren't just a quarterback, by the way. You in, played like every position. Like in I high don't, school, yeah. Yeah, before you were a bulldog, you were quarterback, running back, defensive back. Did you return punts? Yes, ma'am. Did you return too? I was a punter too. That's crazy. <laughs> we came across a stat line that you had back in 2019, guys. Seven touchdowns, two passing, two rushing, two punt return touchdowns, like you said, and a pick six. What? Yeah. You're about to be a star wide receiver. Where are the receiving touchdowns? That, that, that's what I was saying. I was I was missing the only one that, <laughs> that I thought I was good at. But uh, no, it was it was it was crazy. That was a a good game. Even though it was in high school, do you think it helps you a little bit to to know those other spots? Not really. Um, I mean a little bit. You know, versatility, like. I had a, some opportunities to throw some double passes this year, uh, like one in the in the Florida State game at the end, but it wasn't open, so I had to tuck and run. But uh, I guess a little bit in that way, but I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, yeah, I can read you know, all the defenses because I played high school quarterback. Why wide receiver? Uh, yeah, it just kind of came natural to me. Like, I feel like I was always, I could always run pretty good routes. I was, I was pretty athletic. And then once I really, like, honed in on it and, like, understand leverage and understand how to get in and out of my breaks efficiently, I uh, just kind of took off from there. Um, and you're going to be very successful. That you're also a good hoops player, I heard, right? All area, first team. Were you ever considering playing hoops in college? I thought I was a basketball player, like when I was in middle school, early high school years. But um, no, yeah, it turned out uh, football is probably the, probably the way to go. So I thought I was for a little bit, um, but definitely took the right route. I think. What's the best advice? that you've gotten about this whole yeah. process, which is kind of, I mean, how long even is the process when you really start thinking about the NFL, yeah. when you declare? Like, yeah. when, does it st when did that start for you, the sort of the, the start of this journey? Um, I guess, like, when I was, like, I kind of knew what my decision was going to be, like, before, you know, before the last, like, last game and stuff. So, you know, once I made the decision, uh, we played on, like, I think the 30th or 31st, and then I started training on the on the 3rd. So it was, like, straight into it, been going ever since, but... Yeah, it's been been busy, but uh, it's been worth it. Who's giving you the best advice? Uh, probably my family. You know, they're just like, you only get this once. 
like don't take it for granted like enjoy it like it, it seems like a lot but I always think about it if football is gonna be my job like I can't complain too much so I mean you're smart is there anything that makes yeah. you upset you're such a smiley yeah. um young man yeah I mean there is what but... gets you going like what grinds your gears a little bit Mm, someone like smacking their food. That would, smacking that, their food. Yeah, that That's your ick. Or like smacking their gum, like on a plane or something. What yeah, about out on the me. field when you're going up against all those those amazing Georgia yeah. defensive players? What, get, what what's the chip on your shoulder in those situations? Uh, you know, it's just at the end of the day, it's like I feel like it's like a game of one-on-one -on -one battles, like 11 people are out there, but it's me versus you. So, um, you know, it's either I'm going to win or you're going to win. So I just want to I want to win everything everything I do. I feel like I'm one of the most competitive people there is. So go out there and give them all and everything. That's good to know, and that's really important. There's also, of course, you're just who you are as a human. Mm -hmm. I, I, the show would be over if I had to list all of the things that you're involved in, whether it's St. Jude's, whether mm -hmm. it's, it, the list is literally a, a page long. You were awarded for it, of course. Yes, ma'am. What, what drives that? Where does that come from? Yeah, that definitely kind of goes back to my family, too. It's like, I feel like they'd all give their shirt off the, their back to anybody. So kind of growing up in that way is like, it just feels good to me. Like if I can put a smile on someone else's face, it, it puts one back on mine. So I feel like that's, there's not anything uh, more rewarding than that. People always say that w what your brand is is what, what people say about you when you walk out yeah. of a room. So in your locker room, you walk out of Georgia's locker room, what do you think they say about you, your teammates? Being that guy, the leader that you are, yeah. shirt off your back, what else do they say about you? Hopefully, hopefully is, good things. Hopefully you catch them on a good no, day. This is where you got to pump your through. Listen, this, I'm, I'm leading you to water. Yeah, I can't make yeah. a lad drink. Now tell me a little don't, bit about yourself. Don't ask the DBs and stuff. No, I'm just what? kidding. <laughs> but, what would the DBs no, I'm just say kidding. about you? No, but I think, I think they would all say, like, I'm, I'm a good teammate. Like, if they ever need anything, um, then they, they could call me on or off the field, uh, come hang out, do whatever. So uh, those are all my guys. I'm lucky to play with such good guys at Georgia. We're, we really have that connection. I know people talk about it, but it's really true there. So... Those are my guys, and I know I'll be able to, you know, call them 20, 30 years down the line and say, hey, what's up? And it'll be like, be like nothing's changed. Is there anybody that you're looking forward to going up against in the NFL? Uh, I feel like really it'll be more, like, cool to see some of the Georgia players I've played with in the past, like, line up against them. I feel like that'll be like a, like who? a full, Shout circle, out. full circle. Well, I mean, I've talked about, like, my freshman year, like, going when I was going against, like, Eric Stokes and, like, Tyson Campbell and all those guys. And just seeing them out there, like, Keely Ringo, like, Chris Smith, like all those guys, it'll be it'll be pretty cool to, to get out there and, and compete against them. We're going to take a short break here. We're going to be right back. We're going to learn more, of course, about you. We're going to play a little game um, with Lad McConkey, the two-time national champion. What's that like? What is it like to just be announced that way every time you get, say your name? That's it's amazing. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So. Yeah. I was kind of <laughs> upset. I was like, dang, I didn't ask me anything weird. Was... <laughs> We're back with wide receiver prospect, uh, one of the best wide receivers in this entire draft. So excited to have Lad McConkey in studio with us all the way from Georgia, where he won two national championships, and he's awaiting his destination wherever he'll go in the NFL, which I assume, like, you'd be happy to be part of any locker room. Yeah, no doubt. Whoever wants you. Yeah, whoever wants What if me. they're like, we want you to return punts, kid? Oh, yeah, let's go. You want to do, do that? Yeah, heck yeah. You've done it before. Yep, yes, man. That's another opportunity to get the ball in my hand, so let's roll with it. I love that. What I like to do in these situations, you know, like those, like, serial killer cork boards where they, like, string things of yarn yeah, yeah. to make connections? I love that. Like, I'm so into that Dexter mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So that's what we do here on the show. And one t NFL team that you have a connection with is the Baltimore Ravens, right? Their offensive coordinator. Yep. I feel like you know him. A little bit. What's his name? Todd Munkin. Yeah. yeah. A little, little bit. How, uh, have, you, have you talked to him? Has he coached you up with the draft? Has he given you any yeah. words of inspiration? What? Yeah, Coach, Coach Monk's real funny. So yeah. he'll like send send little clips, uh, uh, like just like a pro day or combine, and just have like talking in the background. But what do you have to say about your four three nine? Uh, he didn't say nothing about that. He's more like fun, like it was more like funny stuff, like like my picture and stuff. But uh, no, he's a, he's a great guy. So yeah, he got the he uh, gave me a chance and got the most out of me. And, you know, we won some games. So we're hearing he's gonna. You know, the word on the street that Harbaugh's saying he's gonna let Lamar throw the ball around a little a little more freedom is what he's yeah. gonna say. What he's been saying. Um, what do you make of Todd Monken? Like as as far as what you've seen, I'm sure in the NFL, winning two national championships yeah, yeah. with him. What can you say about your your old coach? Yeah, he he'll get the best out of you. Uh, his thing is everything matters, and that's from walkthroughs to to school to meetings to practice. That's his thing. Like everything matters. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter what it is. So I know he probably kept that motto going into the NFL, and uh, I mean. He produced this year, and I know they're probably only going to get, only going to get better. How would you feel about reuniting with him? Cool. Yeah, it would be cool, you know. Do you look good in purple? 
We'll see. I don't have much purple, but I'll have to get some. I could see that. Catching yeah. the ball from Lamar yeah. Jackson would be yeah. pretty fun. You got Heck Derrick yeah. Henry there. Heck yeah. Coach Todd. I don't, I don't know. Just just, just a cute little storyline that I'm tracking here. Speaking of cute little things, um, we've got these. We are here with Lad McConkey. It is the Up in Ladham show. You have a unique name. I'm sure you hear that a lot. Right? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I love it. I love the name. And it's a name that needs to be celebrated. So my producers thought we'd have a little fun with you. We're going give, to give you some scenarios, throw some things your way. Uh, you're going to run some routes with your mind, gotcha. and we're going to figure this out. And here's some props we have for you. We have Mad Lad, Rad Lad, which this you're 22, 21? 22. 22. We think he knows what rad means. Um, and sad lad. Okay, so we're going to give you these, right, and you can hold them up to that to that camera. So here's the first situation. Yes. Okay. It's the first night of the draft. You get drafted in the first round. We're manifesting. You get drafted in the first round. When Commissioner Goodell calls your name, he says, Andrew. How would you feel? Uh... Andrew, I'd still be happy. I don't care. Very <laughs> proud. Rad, yeah, rad, rad lad. lad. Rad I feel like we're going to go. I'm just, if I was a betting woman, it would be rad lad the entire way because I just don't think no, you're we're, mad we, about we anything. We'll um, you were born and raised in the South, yep. as if anybody couldn't tell. Uh, you went to the University of Georgia. What if an NFL team like the Packers or Bills, known for their freezing, blistering winters, drafted you? What, what lad would you be? Yeah, are not going to get me. Rad, <laughs> rad lad. No, you don't want to play in the cold. Why are you lying? What? You don't want to play in the cold. At the end of the day, it's, uh, you, you got to make. You're it. gonna it go play matter. in Buffalo. Yeah. But listen, listen they just shipped... it doesn't matter where you're at. You're gonna play cold games. Did you hear that? Did you hear that they just shipped Stephon Diggs? I did. I saw that. What do you think of that? Yeah, you know, I'm, I met with them a couple of times. I like their organization, so ah! let's go. Ah! Josh Allen. Hey, that would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty insane. Okay, well, that's gonna we're gonna keep that clip. I that's love great. that. Um, we're just manifesting for you know you you do know you're gonna go where you're supposed to go, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, she's already planned it's, out. It's where it's it's not if wherever it literally. I promise. I've done this enough that I just have watched it all unfold. It all unfolds the way it's supposed to. Okay. When you get to training camp, all the rookies have to sing a song. Oh gosh, yeah. And perform a dance routine. I don't know about the dance routine. You are chosen to be the lead singer. What lad are you? Um, definitely, no, I'm sad lad. <laughs> You're not a singer? No. Are you a dancer? No. No? I can Surprising. run routes, but I cannot dance. Okay, so we've got a sad lad, finally, something he's bad at, Mr. 99 Madden rating and everything. Um, you I, hear, I, I, didn't, I didn't say that. No. <laughs> you hear there's a celebrity in the stands for your first NFL game. It's Hollywood's it actress, Sydney Sweeney, but she's rooting for the other team. What lad are you? <laughs> rooting for the other team? Yeah. Uh, you gotta be mad. Be lad. mad, lad. Yeah, Sydney. Okay, I like yeah, that. Look at that. Look um, at that I like that you're giving me versatility. Yeah, See, you you're returning little, punts, you're kicking punts, you're throwing touchdowns. You're doing it all. You're giving me a little, little of everything. Um, you've got the entire road to yourself on a cross-country flight, and just before it takes off, Kirby Smart sits down next to you. Oh yeah, mad lad. <laughs> mad lad. How, how are you on planes? Are you sleeping the whole time? Are you? I usually am. This, yeah. uh, this flight out here, I didn't sleep, but I think I. I don't know why, but usually sleeping. It doesn't matter. Like when wait, we till fly you're, to... wait till you're about 10 years older and jet lag actually hits you, and then it's like the worst Knocked thing in the out. entire world. Enjoy the sleepless yeah. nights and, and, and yeah. sleepless flights. Okay, yeah. I'm told you have two favorite flavors of ice cream. Okay. Don't ask me how my producers found this. <laughs> Cookie dough and mint chip. Okay, mm, one's good, one's kind of sus. Which one, it, which one do you do Mint chip's like? kind of a weird favorite. Yeah. What's yours? Cookie dough's good. Cookie okay. dough's good. Okay, okay. I'll, we'll give it to you though. Yeah. If you could eat only one for the rest of your life, would you? Which lad would you be? Only one of those? Yeah. Uh, I'd be. Matt, I, you'd I be could rad. give up mint chocolate. Yeah. Chip. What, what, what food could you not give up? What would make you mad, lab, if you could never eat it again? Never eat it again. Uh. Your like, cheat meal, which you're not doing because you're working on getting strong and all those things. Yeah. What's the cheat meal? Um, I like some like Chick Fil A minis. Those are, they're solid. If yeah. I couldn't eat those again, that'd be pretty sad. That'd be sad. Okay, let's get him, Jesse, let's get him a Chick-fil-A sponsorship <laughs> on line one. Sounds good. Uh, your girlfriend calls you a golden retriever boyfriend. She says, or she, let's say she says that, which means you're lovable, playful, always excited to see her. <laughs> Is this some like Gen Z stuff that I don't know about? <laughs> golden retriever. What if your girlfriend called you a golden retriever? Ah. Uh... I mean, I don't think I'd be mad or, I mean, Rad. mad, I guess. Yeah, I guess it. it'd be. You love yeah. her. It's all good. Yeah. Okay, I don't, even, I don't even know anything about what I'm talking about. Okay, now I, I saw you measuring in. You did measure in under six feet tall, okay? Fair you enough. go to Dunkin' Donuts, and they automatically give you a short king small coffee. Okay, yeah, that's, that's messed up. <laughs> Why are you mad <laughs> about that? Short king. I'm like, I'm right there. I'm not that short. So. You got to round up. 
If I put shoes on, I'd be six foot. There we go, world. I, I, I play in shoes. <laughs> okay, you are required to only wear Nike Tech gear every single day. Every single day? Uh, yeah, um, I guess mad side. Why, why would we be mad about that? Um, I mean, like, every day? I don't know, I don't even know what that is. I'm so, I'm so old, I don't know what that, what's a Nike Tech, like, a, just a sweatsuit? Yeah, like a sweatsuit. I mean, I wouldn't be mad, I guess sad, they'll change it to sad. Okay. I love Nike, this is, though. This is going to be the last one. Nice. I'm going to make this the last one. Let's see what else. Let me see. Let me find you a good one here. Um, you have to go travel to anywhere. You get to travel anywhere in the world on a vacation of a lifetime, but you have to go alone. Have to go alone? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I go set that. You would be sad? Oh, my gosh. I'm rad all the way. Wait, like... <laughs> like wait, you have to just go on a vacation. Like, do you like alone? Like, time? if I'm on, like, would a you... cruise, but, like, it's... Like there's other people around, or it's just me on the Are cruise ship. Are you telling ship? me it's your your dream vacation is going on? No, a I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> like putting a scenario out here. Uh, yeah, you'd have to go by yourself. That would be sad. Yeah, that'd be that, sad that, that would be sad. Imagine being on a cruise. A ship cruise by, by yourself. yourself is very sad. Okay, fast forward to next NFL to NFL next season. I can't even read today. I don't know what's happening. The game is on the line, lad. Due to some wild circumstances, you've got to kick the game-winning field yep. goal. We're, we're knocking it down. <laughs> Yeah. We're knocking it down. Yeah, Land yeah. McConkey, everybody we're, coming we're, we're to you. How long is it Coming to an NFL. Say? I don't know. 54, 40, 44 yards. 43 yards. Okay, if it's 43, I'm probably going to be No, sad. we're not. We just ruined it. Rad, rad, we're a rad right, lad. Yeah. Um, anything else before we let you go that you want NFL teams, you want people to know about you that maybe we didn't talk about something that isn't getting enough love? What do you want people to know about Lad McConkey? Uh, come, come draft me and it'll be worth it. I promise. Let's do it. All right, out of Georgia. He's obviously does not, you know, fail under the bright lights. Two-time national champion coming to an NFL team near you, and I think to the AFC. I'm just going to say that. I think you're an AFC receiver, and you said that you like the cold, so I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it come fall. Okay, we'll be back after this. Thank you for being here. Yep, thank you for having me. That was me. a lot of fun. You did a great, great job.